What's up, Dad? Hello, everybody. Welcome to our channel. My name is Samantha. I'm Ryan. Thanks for being here. So uh, today we are going to take a Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader test. Oh my god. Uh, the impending results are absolutely terrifying. For yes. Us because <laughs> frankly, I don't want to know the answer because I think it might be no. I don't remember a lot of middle school. Fifth grade, you're in middle school? Oh, for me, we've talked about this before. In my middle school, it was it was technically intermediate school. Fifth and sixth grade was one school, and seventh and eighth grade they was one school. They made a whole school. school for two grades. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yeah. To your point, though, I I don't I don't remember much about being in fifth grade. What I do remember, though, is how uh, how easy it was to be a fifth grader. Mm -hmm. nary, so simple. Nary a care in the world. Not a single burden, nor financial stress, nor social obligations, nor filled calendars. Just breezy, innocent living. Recess, snack time. Mm -hmm. But we all know life's not like that anymore. No, it's not. You no. see where this is going? It's a seamless brand integration. Because we're not in fifth grade anymore, which means sometimes, well, maybe some of you are, I don't know. But <laughs> we're not in fifth grade anymore, which means sometimes we need a little bit of extra help with the stress in life. And guess what? That's where BetterHelp comes in. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Sponsored video. <laughs> if you've been watching our channel, you know the drill. We love BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And they're a great uh, telehealth service. They match you with professional therapists who can assess your needs. Once you get all signed up with BetterHelp, you can start communicating with a professional therapist within 48 hours. And this is not a crisis line. This is not self-help. This is professional counseling, all done securely online. And this service is available worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and message your counselor. Signing up is super easy. Just indicate what kind of counseling you are looking for. Enter some personal information like your gender and your age. Let them know what issues you're hoping to work on. Set your location. Give them that good, good credit card info. And that's it. Just like that, you've set yourself up to work with BetterHelp's 15,000 plus network of licensed uh, therapists who are there to help you at any time. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can set up weekly video or phone call sessions with your therapist. So you never have to bother with going and sitting in a stuffy, uncomfortable waiting room ever again, like sometimes you have to do with traditional therapy. And of course, one of the most important parts of therapy is making sure that you're matched with the right therapist. BetterHelp is committed to making great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. If that wasn't enough to convince you, it is also more affordable than traditional uh, therapy options and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So go and get all the information you need, sign up, start living that happier life. You can do that at betterhelp.com slash Sam and Ryan. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Sam and Ryan. And the icing on the cake is that all of you guys watching this video get 10% off of your first month. So thank you for being a subscriber. Go click that link. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now Absolutely. let's put our brains to the test oh, gosh. and see if we are indeed smarter than fifth graders. We're not. We're, We're not. not. We're not. So what are we what are we gonna do? Are we gonna take this test like together as a unit? Are we collectively smarter than a fifth grader? Is that how we're gonna do it? I would like that because I don't like my odds <laughs> on my own. And if we make this a joint thing. You know, two heads are better than one, or so they say. Might drag you down. Well, you might lift me up. You lift me up. So what we've done is we have found a quiz that is filled with 15 questions from the show. If you don't know what we're talking about, sorry, just breeze by that. There used to be a show called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? where adults were paired with a real fifth grader that they could use as a lifeline as they go throughout this trivia show trying to answer questions that are in the current fifth grade curriculum. Oh, is that how it works? I thought the adults were against the fifth graders. They were working together. So the adults have like a, a lifeline basically of a kid, but for the comparison, they always have like the kid writing down the answer too. So it's mm. like, ah, oh, the fifth grader got it and you didn't. 
And then Should've used that lifeline. Sometimes line. they like bring out another fifth grader to be like, if you want to ask Sarah over uh -huh. here, you can. I'm Sarah. All right. All right. Let's get into it. I mean, 15 questions. We can do this. Sure. What is the fastest bird on foot? Ostrich, sparrow, eagle, dragon, or woodpecker? It's I mean, ostrich. It's dragon, but I don't think dragons are real. So, so yeah, it's ostrich. Can't they run like 50 ostrich. miles per hour or something? I don't know, but they're fast. Oh, we hey. got it right. Look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. Already nailing this. What planet is closest to the sun? Easy. That's Mercury. You're right. What? What? My very educated mother just showed us nine planets, but Pluto doesn't count anymore. So I don't know what the kids say now. What was mine? It was my... It was something about pizza. Wow. I feel I don't remember mine, but I, I know it's Mercury. <laughs> and you were okay. right! We're, ki we're killing this. We, we could be doing this on our own. A heptagon. It, wait, are they showing us a heptagon? No, they must not be. A heptagon is a shape with how many sides? Well, do we just count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I mean, that feels like a giveaway. No, so this is wrong, because seven would be septagon. Oh. And then hexagon, septagon, octagon, so I think heptagon is nine. Oh, I would not know. I mean, I know, I know it's not an octagon, I know it's not a hexagon. So I feel pretty strongly about nine, about and it, I also don't think that they would just give us the shape. That's why I'm kind of like that. Feels like it'd be a giveaway. I'm going with nine. <gasps> Wait, so they literally just showed us a heptagon? Yeah. Wow. And we just had to count. I should have listened. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no. I mean, oh, I... nonagon is nine. Nonagon. Yeah. What nonagon? <laughs> Oh man, I actually did know that, and they told us. Hmm. Whatever, we knew. Well, what, sure, sure. How long is one, oh god, how long is one regular term for a U.S. representative? representative. Wait. They don't give us units? Three what? I'm assuming for they're talking years. about years. For a U.S. representative? In the House of Representatives. Six. I feel like it's longer than I would think it is. Isn't it longer than a president? I think so. I like my brain has like. I think it's six. But I, I, was I wrong know last it's. Time. I don't think it's two or four, and I don't think it'd be one. And it's not three because the off years are gubernatorial races, uh, so it would. What? Be governor for the governorships. <laughs> Sorry, states. what's that phrase? Gubernatorial. Gubernatorial. Rebuvim a gubernatorial. Rebuvim a gubernatorial. Gubernatorial. Anyways, sure, let's go with six. It is two? I I had no, I had no so clue. so stupid right now. I, I had no clue. How many people are in the House of Representatives? Like Isn't it like 500? Wait. <laughs> is it 500 people? No, I'm probably wrong. I I feel like I was actually asked well, this no, but trivia it's a question. No, it the would other day. be a lot because the Senate's only 100. This is why we. How many people are in the House of Representatives? It's 437. 437, wow. How many, yeah, I don't. Which of the following states is not on the Gulf of Mexico? Are they supposed to be giving us these images? <laughs> right, like no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't be. But also it's Georgia. Well, let's just go through the other options too. It's Texas not Texas, is on the water, Florida. Florida's on the water, Alabama's on the water, Louisiana's, Louisiana's on the water. water. Yeah, it's Georgia, okay. I feel like, wait, isn't there a song that's like something about Georgia? Eh, anyways. Oh gosh, what is the lowest prime number? What's a prime I mean, number? Well, one, three, and five are prime. Aren't one, three, and five prime numbers? I don't know what a prime. Oh, a room I that forget. can't be, that can only be divisible by itself. Is that what a prime number I is? I vividly remember not being at school when we learned about prime numbers. I wasn't at school when we learned about bones in the body. And like, it was something that I just, I never learned since then, but I know nine is a prime number. Thank God we're pretty. Nine is not a prime number. Isn't it? No, nine is an odd number. Well, I know what a, nine is an odd number, but I thought nine, well, okay, I maybe I know I think prime numbers nothing. can only be divisible by themselves. Nine can be divisible by three. So I think so the lowest what, prime number would be one. That can be div divided by itself? That can only be divided by itself. So like, you can't, like 13 is a prime number. You can't divide 13 evenly. You can't or evenly divide 13 by two mm. or by three or by four or by five or by, you can only mm. like 13 divided by 13 is one. So. 
So I think it's one. I'm going to trust you on this one. <laughs> Two is a prime number? That's why I don't think we know. I don't think we know what a prime number is. But you can, can't you divide a one divided by one would be one. Wait. What is a prime number? A prime number is a natural number greater, greater than, than one, one that is not a product of two smaller natural numbers. So it can't be so one. So it can't be one. Oh, oh God. gosh, fifth graders know this? What is the largest South American country by area? Okay, uh... Isn't Brazil, like, Brazil's huge? massive, but are we looking at the right map? You know what I mean? What? Oh, like the... Like the Merc Mercadian Mercadian projection. Mercadian. Chile... Isn't Chile really long really, and skinny? Yeah, long and skinny, so it's not Chile. So, but, but it's by area. Yeah, but it's, like... Brazil is it's, yeah, Brazil's significantly massive. bigger than... I think it's Brazil, but I've been wrong about all of these, Wait, so. scroll up. What is it? South... South, South American, American country by area. What about Mexico? And what's bigger, Mexico or Brazil? Mexico is not bigger than Brazil. Okay, let's go Brazil. How big is Peru? Where's Peru? Peru, uh, Peru is in the the little like. Like Central America. Yeah, Central America. So it's not Peru. It's Brazil. gotta be. Brazil. Or is it Argentina? We haven't even been spending any time on Argentina. Don't cry I, for me. I, I, I can't picture a size of Argentina. It's gotta be Brazil, right? We got one right. Okay. Ooh, okay, we need it. We needed a win. Yeah, this is awful. Which part? Oh, which of the following states is not part of the Four Corners? Um. Nevada is. I think Colorado is. I think New Mexico is. Wait, no. Nevada, Arizona. It would be Arizona as well, because they're right next to each other. Nevada and Arizona. But the, I, I don't the, think it's Colorado. Oh, oh, wait. Well, I guess that's a good Colorado's point. Colorado's literally side a square. Of... And Nevada, like, is, like... Nevada's over, over here. By like California. It, yeah. But so wouldn't it be Arizona, Colorado? I don't... I don't think it's... I, I don't think it's Nevada. I think it's New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, and Arizona. Because I think Nevada's too close to California. Okay. I, I'm... I'm... Okay. Nevada. Ah, uh, sure. Nice. Yes! Good job. Thank you. Job. Thank you. Who is the first person to step on the moon? No one. It was fake. Don't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Neil Armstrong. Right? Which one was Buzz Aldrin? Oh, wait. No, wasn't it Buzz Aldrin? I don't know. No, I, I've, I, I've thought about this so many times because... So one person was was the first person in space, and then the other was the first to land on the moon. My my gut reaction is Neil Armstrong, because I always, growing up, got Neil Armstrong I'm and Lance, Lance Armstrong, Armstrong confused. So I'm, I'm going my Neil. My gut was Neil Armstrong, too. Okay. okay. I, but think, I think Buzz I think Aldrin is the first, first person in space. The first man in space, yeah. Carefully is an example of what type of word, adverb? Yeah. Nice. Nice. In the Northern Hemisphere, what month is the autumnal equinox? Didn't we just talk about this in the in the kitchen the other day? Like the, the first day of fall is in September, right? I'm I think it's September. Isn't it like the twenty something of September? Late December is is winter. We I know that for sure. December, January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. I guess I would think it's August, but I'm I'm not like. The only reason I feel like it might be September is I just feel like in my brain, uh, like from because we're in fall right now. I feel like I remember being told that like the first day of fall was in like September. Do we know a fifth grader we could call? January, <laughs> February, March, <laughs> April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. I guess I think September, I think September. as well. Okay. I thought August, but I'm willing to go September with you. Are you ready? We're Let's, go September. September. Let's go September. Let's go September. All right. Yes. See, we just need to talk these things through. Take our time with it. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna. I hate oh this. God. Emma has two yardsticks. She also has a 12-inch ruler. Like she Emma's laid them. All the supplies. <laughs> She laid them end to end in a line. How many feet long is the line? Oh, uh, six, 
Seven. It's seven feet. A yardstick is three, three feet. feet. And, and a 12-inch ruler, ruler is one foot. foot. So that's seven so feet. six plus we up. Great. Boom. Ooh! Crushed it! Look at that! All right, right now Mental our score math. is 60 out of 100, so we are we have a D right now. Well... In fifth grade. We have okay. D in fifth grade. Inca civilizations were concentrated, or were concentrated on South America, right? Inca? Mm -hmm. Or was it in like Central America, so it would be technically North America? Or was that, that was Mayans. I think that the was Mayans. The Mayans were in Mexico, Aztec. right? And the Aztec were all in like Central America. Weren't like the Incas Incas like, were down, South America. Yeah, because um, um, Machu Picchu, isn't that Inca? I'm pretty sure it's South America. I, yeah, okay, let's go South America. Alright. What state is the Grand Canyon? That's Arizona. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Like, wait a minute. I'm kidding. That's a fourth grade question. Okay. <laughs> Who is the first president of the United States? Wait, it, it, it literally it's tells literally us. saying George Washington. Who made this quiz? Who made this quiz? Well, I mean, we know it's George Washington. Still, though. Oh. I'll my result. Okay, we got 80 out of 100. What's 80 out of 100? That's like a B a minus, B? right? Here's our certificate of achievement. I got a score of 80 out of 100 on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader quiz questions. Uh -huh. I guess, how we do you, how do you measure? We did not fail. Yeah, we, we did not fail. Right, so we are smarter than every fifth grader who doesn't get higher than a B in class. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Because, like, the question, are you smarter than a fifth grader, it's like, S -s -mo some of them, or I, I at least have the, uh, the same general knowledge that they do. So, you know, I feel pretty good about this. Yeah, well, and you know what? I, I, I whiffed on Septagon. I did know that. I just didn't, like, know it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then what else did we whiff on? We also missed the U.S. representatives. How many... How many years they serve? Oh yeah, they serve for two, two years. years. What a thing! All that work for nothing. Like, I mean, I know it's not nothing. It's still like a two-year term, but yeah. Can they get reelected? Probably. Yeah. So you know. Right. They don't have like whatever it's called term limits. Like, yeah. They don't have as many terms as they want. Right. Were well, those obviously, the Nancy Pelosi's been there for like a billion years? Yeah. Were Were those the only two we missed? Oh, prime, the prime number. number. The Prime number. Prime number. Well. Why can't one be a prime number? I never understood math, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend that no. I do, but why Why can't one be a prime number? I've, I've never understood math because, to me, it, it was like I couldn't get past the fact that it's just made up rules. <laughs> I, I just, it never made sense in my brain. Yeah, with like prime numbers and stuff. So why? Why does this need to be defined? It's weird because I don't you know. like really understand culture, but those are but just those made, are up, just rules made up rules too. But those are just made up rules too. Anyways, thank you guys so much oh, for watching. Into the outro. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link down in the description to check it out. And like actually, like, yeah, do. like taking care of yourself is really important. Having someone to talk to is really important. Mm -hmm. This isn't just like read an ad and get some money. Like this is actually very important to us. Like this is not only a process, but also a company that like we really believe in. So uh, please, um, Invest in yourself, and we're giving you a great resource to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check if you're subscribed. I bet, I bet there's a chance you might not be, but then make it right. Come subscribe. on, come on, come on. Subscribe, subscribe to us. We have, go, go to therapy and subscribe <laughs> to us. Those are your two actionables. Yes. We will see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Dad.